The SAT math section is going to test you on various concepts. Although the questions can be tricky, you're not going to see anything that's really going to push you beyond geometry or algebra 2. I'm going to teach you a technique. It's called using your own numbers that's going to allow you to bypass some of the trickier questions. Let's see an example. Megan runs y miles in x minutes. If Megan wants to run z miles in terms of x, y, and z, how long will it take Megan? Most of us can't look at this and answer the question immediately. It's going to take an equation. However, because you have variables in the answer choices and variables in the problem, you can come up with your own numbers and turn this into a basic arithmetic question. It is important, however, to use numbers that make the question easier. For example, Megan runs y miles in x minutes. Let's come up with a number for y. Let's say 2. Megan runs 2 miles. Let's say she runs 2 miles in 10 minutes. Now she wants to run 4 miles. We just come up with numbers that are easy. Now, I could have come up with 300, 500. I could have come up with much more complicated numbers, but this puts it in terms of numbers that we understand. She's running twice the distance. It's going to take her twice as long. How long is it going to take Megan? It's going to take Megan 20 minutes. Now, all we do is we use these numbers in the answer choices and see if we can't come up with 20. For answer choice A, Z is equal to 4. 4 divided by... 10 times 2 does not equal 20. Answer choice A is wrong. Now we do the same thing for B. X is 10, Z is 4, Y is 2. This does equal 20. Answer choice B works. We do the same things for C, D, and E. We don't want to stop at B on the off chance that one of these answer choices might also work. Now, if that does happen, all you have to do is pick a different set of numbers. It's just a fluke. If we look at C, Put in those numbers, that does not equal 20. D does not equal 20. E also does not equal 20. We're left with B as our only remaining answer choice. It takes Megan 20 minutes to run four miles, and we move on.